after a fantastic day on the flats and losing a few flies, I always bring a fly tying kit with me just to uh, restock the fly box. And I'm going to tie one of my favourite flies, which is a Super Gotcha. Um, I start by putting the, the um, uh, hook in the vise and I always run a little bead of super glue along the hook shank uh, because w when you're tying the, the saltwater flies you want them to be really strong and well put together and you don't want them to come apart. So I, my favourite uh, super gotcha, I mean there's lots of different uh, patterns of the gotchas and super gotchas but I've, I've found um, the, the one that I tie really suits me and um, I catch a lot of fish on it, so I just carry on using this one. First of all, I'm tying in what I call, it's, it's not a tail, it's actually the eyes of the shrimp. The gotcha is a, is a good imitation of a fleeing shrimp. So we tie in the um, micro chenille, and uh, we'll, we'll adjust this later because all it is is two eyes but uh, I'll adjust the length of it later, once the fly is finished. But we'll start off with it like that. And the next step is to actually put the bead eyes on, and I wind the, the tying thread to just over halfway. Another little drop of super glue. Again, the whole fly is super glued right throughout its tying procedure. We don't want it to come apart. So, figure of eight to start with. Just adjust its uh, position. And then is what I do, is, is I run round the chain bead eye a few times and pull tight, run round again, two or three times and pull tight. It's a very simple fly to tie. Anyone can tie one of these, but it's so effective. Next, we're going to put the body of the fly in. Now, lots of gotchas have a, a really um, glittery, silvery body, but I've, I find these days, I prefer to dub some tan rabbit hair for the body rather than have a glittery, shiny, a body which, which very often puts the fish off. But to be on the safe side, this is what we do here. We tie in the body, and also it has a, um, a nice little sort of leg, leggy appearance. You don't have to be too precise about it. The breeze, by the way, is blowing my materials all over the place. So we'll just put that in there. Now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure of eight some rabbit fur actually between the eyes. Keep it fairly loose because you want it to be a shaggy appearance, just like a shrimp. Next we'll put in the beard. Now the beard is there the beard is there to actually uh, imitate the legs of the shrimp. And for this I use tan coloured uh, nyat hair. Nyat um, is a very durable and uh, stiff material and it holds its, holds its shape really well uh, when in the water. And this you want to be quite long. This is why I call it the super gotcha because it, it needs to have a really long beard. You'll notice I'm not putting any glittery stuff, any, any tinsel, nothing in the fly. We really don't want this fly to, to be like that because spooky fish just, just don't like bullying on a fly. So there we are, there's the beard in shape. Now we trim off. And the fly is nearly finished now, it's that simple. So now is what I do, is I just tie down the surplus hair and try and keep the head into a carrot shape as much as possible. Now we're done with the main tying silk. 
and I just snip that and put it to one side. And I find that um, to have a coloured head, especially a red head on a gotcha, gotcha um, really triggers the fish into taking. So th for that, I just get some normal red tying silk and then I just finish off the fly by building a red carrot shaped head. Put plenty of turns on to, to, to cover it up, to cover the white tying silk up. And there we have it, a very, very simple fly to tie, yet so effective. Now I said earlier I'm going to deal with the eyes, which I will do now. They're nearly finished. They want to be just a, a little bit shorter than that. So we trim them to that length. And then I'll get a, a brown marker pen and just colour the just colour the end of the chenille like that, just to give it the impression of the two eye sockets. So there we have it, the super gotcha. And now I'm going to just touch some super glue onto the head. The finished fly, super gotcha. It's one of my favourite and most effective bonefish flies.